guys, Tom here. Welcome back to a brand new video now today. We've got a special one for you guys. We have both gone our different ways and picked 12 kits from any era in Europe that are our personal favourites. And we're now going to compare and see how similar or different we are and basically show them to you guys. I'm buzzing for this. I've got 12 absolute stunners. Not as good as mine and thank you to everyone <laughs> who sent kits in because we couldn't have done this video without you. Yeah, thank you very much. But I've got a problem, first of all. Oh God, Theo, what's your problem? You know, usually by this time in the video, you'd have done something stupid for people <laughs> to go on and hit the like button. But I you know. haven't. I know, I'm not in a stupid mood today. Oh. So I think we'll go for 5,000 likes. Let's smash 5,000 likes. We can easily hit that. Comment down below, guys, the kits that we missed. In 12th place, I'm wearing it. Oh, Duke La Prague. What a beautiful kit. And thank you, Theo. This was my birthday present. It was your, was it, what birthday was it? 57? <laughs> 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 Moving on quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Which one was it? Which one was 50 it? 50 second I got it, I got it. I know it was a Christmas present. It was a Christmas present. This kit was made famous by Half Man Half Biscuit, a brilliant group from the 1980s, yeah. who wrote a song called All I Want For Christmas Is A Duke of Prague Away Kit. And let's turn around quickly so we can see the back. Thog Dad number nine. You love to see it. <laughs> well, it had a bang. Bang, there we go. Let's move on to my 12th place, and I've gone for the Hibernian 1991-92 home kit. And I think this is an absolute stunner. I did that's originals kit, which first of all I love. The three stripes, obviously green and white work, lovely. The shades in the middle, that is one stunning kit to start off this video, as well as yours. Which yeah. you It's a nice kit. It's a yeah. little bit too fussy for me. Really? And you'll see from my choices, I quite like simplicity. So I. What you like simplicity? I. You'll see from my. <laughs> Should we move on to number eleven? And this might surprise you. What? This is Maccabee Tel Aviv, and we're calling Israel. How did you find this? Someone sent this. Wow. One of our Israeli fans That's sent crazy. this. That's crazy. This is from, I think, 1984. So at that time, Israel will only have been 16 years old. It's a really nice kit. I don't really know what's said or what team <laughs> it is. Well, but yeah. the blue and the yellow is nice, the blue and the gold. Yeah, and of course the sponsor's logo, which you read from right to left. Yeah. On to my 11th place, and I've gone for the Leeds United 1978 home kit. Now, probably, Dad, you're probably thinking, well, what, what's special about that? I'll tell you what it is. The classicness, the simplicity. A Leeds United shirt needs to be white, simple, and scream Yorkshire, and that's what it does. If there's a Leeds fan watching this and you have this shirt, fair play to you because you've got a good taste. Do you agree? All I'm saying is that no son of mine should choose a Leeds kit in a video like this. Fair enough. But no, that's a nice kit there. And let's move on to my number 10. And it has to be this beauty. Mm. Not just because of the kit, but because of the guy who's wearing it, Paul Gascoigne. There's a lot of nice Rangers shirts. Yeah. But I like the dark blue in this. And yeah. There he is. There's Gazza. With, and I love that Rangers logo. You've got the McEwans. Thog Dad, do you know something about Thog Dad? What? He quite likes a beer. Now, yeah. not a lot of you know that, <laughs> but it's true. It's a Thog Dad fact. <laughs> Moving on to my 10th place, I've gone for a Dortmund shirt. Oh, yes. And this one is from 1988, and it's a home shirt. And again, Adidas Originals. We're seeing a trend here. I like a good old Adidas Originals design kit. I just think this is a simple but beautiful shirt. I like the design on the front. This is great. Do you agree? That is very German, and I mean yeah. that in a nice way. Mm. And simple, isn't it, Theo? Exactly. And Sometimes a simple kit's the best. You don't want to overdo it. And my ninth place yep. is a thing of absolute beauty. It's okay. so simple that I could easily have put this number one. Real Madrid. Now, loads of yep. people sent me in Real Madrid kits, but what I like about this one is how simple it is. I like the colour. Yeah. You've got the club badge. When you're as good as Real Madrid, why be fancy with the shirt? You know what? It's time for a thog dad fact, right. isn't it? This is a player called Alfredo Di Stefano, who was absolute legend of football. Now, from 1956 to 1960, Real Madrid won five European Cups, mm. and this man scored in every one of them. What? And you know what? This guy was so good. He's an Argentinian, but he played for Argentina, Colombia, and Spain. He played for three national teams. Yeah, he did. He's that good. Shall we move on to my ninth place? Wowza, look at this United oh, shirt. The 92-93 away kit. The fact someone designed something so beautiful like this in 1992 blows my mind. It's ridiculous. I think this is an absolute classic of a shirt. They won the league in it. Look at that. So Theo has chosen Leeds United and Manchester United. Where's your baseball bat when you need it? <laughs> Dad, if I see a nice kit, I'm going to tell the fans about it. You like that? You see, for me, yeah. I know what you're saying. It, yeah. is, it has become sort of iconic, hasn't mm. it? Mm. But it's too busy for me. There's too much going on. Yeah. You know? Well, maybe it's so busy that it distracts the opponents. That's why oh. they won the league. Yeah. 
Always thinking. Shall we move on to your eighth place? Let's move on. Well, <laughs> wait, which leagues are you finding this, for this, Dad? This is the German third division. What the hell? It's a team called Carl Zeiss Jena FC. They have a friendship with Newport County from Wales. This is the most <laughs> crazy thing I'm ever hearing in my they, life. They play each other every year. <clears throat> Sorry. And this coronavirus. Actually, right now. <laughs> um, what I love about it, you could wear this at a Motorhead concert, couldn't you? You could be headbanging in this shirt. <laughs> and on the shirt it says, support your local yeah, team. Yeah, support your local team. <laughs> but the kit I've gone for Ooh. is the Kappa 1997 yeah. Barcelona home strip. Yeah. And it's gorgeous. Here's the legend Ronaldo wearing that shirt and then Guardiola <laughs> behind him. That's not Cristiano. Shut up, man. Stop acting like this, man. I'm not falling for that. That is a very, very nice kit. Well done, Theo. It's in my eighth place, and it deservedly so. Even their away strip that season was great. Whoever their marketing team was in 1997, bring them back. Moving on to my seventh place. Which is? Celtic. Now, there's only one shirt that you can choose, and that is the 1967 European Cup Final wow. winning shirt. Now, is that because is, of the design, or is that because uh, of what they did in that year? It's an iconic game. Yeah. And I, again, I love the simplicity of that shirt. Yeah. It's a fashion item. What a team, what a kit. Everyone knows that they beat Inter in the final. Yeah. But who did they beat in the semi-final? I don't know. Duke of Prague. Really? Yeah. Bloody hell. How do you know these things? Like I that? just Blows research, my mate, research. On to my seventh place, and I've gone for a very nice kit. The Rangers oh, home yes. kit of 96, 97. Now, yes. like I said earlier, you went yes. for a Rangers kit, yes. but I've gone for one as well, and this one is very nice. Yes. Um, you've got the blue, red, and the white of Rangers, and I love the design, how it's on the side, and it was one of the most highly requested to put in this video yes. out of any kit. We're going to move on to Thog Dad's sixth place, which is... Boom. No yes, way. You yes. picked it again. Well, you know what? We've already done a video on this. It remains just a beautiful shirt. Yeah, uh, it is, Probably yeah. the best ever in the Premier League. I'm not complaining. It's a stunner. I just like looking at it and, and dreaming of the times when I was drinking a Newcastle Brown Ale. Oh, oh Dad, Dad. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Guys, sorry. one like equals one prayer for Thog Dad. I'm sorry, I was just a bit overcome there. The kit I've gone for in sixth place is Ooh. Bayern Munich's 93-94 away strip. Yeah. And it's beautiful. It's gold. It's got green and black in it. And the reason I like this so much, actually, is the design. The little lines coming either side. And the gold that it screams. You know, yes. you know, Bayern Munich have always been the supreme team. The best team. Not only in Germany, but always up there in Europe. And when you have a colour which is so golden and prime. It just screams quality. Yes, yes. And Bayern Munich have always been at the top of their game. And this kit is right up there too. I cannot fault that. That yeah. is a very lovely, and again, it's very German, the design, yeah, isn't it? Is. it? Yeah. It's almost like it should be in an art gallery. You know what I mean? It's, it, it's yeah. very, very stylish. Let's move on to Thug Dad's fifth place, which is Inter. Oh, and how gorgeous is that shirt? It this is nice. This is from the 1964 European Cup Final. Inter won 3-1 against Real Madrid. The simplicity, the black and blue stripes, and that Italian flag. These days, there's corporate sponsors everywhere, yeah? Yeah. Look how simple that is. And look at the crowd behind them. Theo, what is your number five? Now, my number five is the Celtic kit from yeah. 1998 to 1999. Umbro design and Umbro as the sponsor. And there's something about that which makes it so nice. Yes, when yeah. you've got Umbro that design it and on the shirt, it doesn't look like corporate because yes. they're paying for it and they're also designing it. And I just think it's gorgeous. It's got the green and white from the top to the bottom. And I like how the logo is in the middle. Umbro, you did a great job that year. And I'm sure a lot of Celtic fans have that in their wardrobe. Yes. I've seen this worn at Celtic games many times. Very true, Thog Dad. We're now going down to our top four. You might recognise this. Leeds United, 1978. You copied me. You copied me. Of Jimmy Armfield. And Peter Lorimer, Alan yeah. Clark, Eddie and Frank Gray, Tony Curry, Paul Reaney, Paul Madeley, Trevor Cherry. Now, a little trip down Thog Dad memory lane yep. here. From 1975, I've been a Bolton Wanderers fan. Mm. Yeah, when Bolton Wanderers were playing away, we'd sometimes go to Oldham Athletic games. Mm. But my brother Stuart, from about the age of three or four, was a Leeds fan. Right. So three or four times a year, we'd get in the car from Lancaster and we'd go up to Ellen Road to see bloody Leeds United. And I remember, so looking at this kit takes me back in time to when I was ten years old. But have a look at the 1997 Juventus third kit. It's pink, it's <laughs> black, and it's gorgeous. And again, yeah. it's got the Italy badge on, because like I said, back then, every kit had an Italy badge on. But look how nice that is. Yes. Do you like it? 
It's very pink. No. And I uh, know it's it's very, very stylish. Right, let's move on to your third place. And we're really getting yes. low now. This yes. better be good. Oh, how beautiful is that kit? The yeah. black and red stripes, the black collar. And you know what? I found this photo from the 1960s and I had a clue who this guy was. So I wrote to my mate, Pat. And yeah. he wrote back saying, this is Gianni Rivera. Now this guy's very interesting, because he played over 500 games for AC Milan, yeah. and 60 games for Italy. And then once he'd retired, he became a politician. No corporate, not even a logo on yeah. there. Not even a, like, it's literally black and red. Like, yeah. this is very super simple. But agreed with you, Dad, that's gorgeous. My third place is very nice. It's from 94, 95. It's the Munchen Gladbach from Germany. Yeah. That was their home kit back then. Yeah, yeah. And I think for 1994, that is an absolutely gorgeous design. I don't know what, I think it's like a camo type thing, but it's yeah. the white, green, and black of Munchen Gladbach, Borussia Munchen Gladbach. And the way the different designs come in, I think you should just move to Germany, Thogden. Honestly, I love these kits. I can't even lie. I, yeah. I put Bayern Dortmund and Munchen Gladbach in. I know, Gladbach in. I know. But I can't not. You see this kit, and I'm like, I have to show my fans this. That logo, the D balls, it almost looks a bit heavy metal, doesn't it? You know what I mean? The it way does. it's written. But another thing, Dad, if we're going to have a corporate sponsoring, make yeah. it simple and make yes. it the colour of the club. And that's exactly what this shirt has. Yes. Shall we move on to our yes. final top two? Yes. Your second place. Have a look at that thing of beauty, and you know straight away who this is FC Barcelona. And the year is 1915 to 1916. Bloody hell, you, you've gone back, Dad. I've gone back, but look at that. That was near when you just... were born, that's how late it was. <laughs> <laughs> The abuse I get from my son is outrageous. <laughs> Again, you could see that in a football museum. It's I would wear that. Yeah. I would wear that right now. And who's your second place there? Guess. Ooh. It's the Newcastle wow. United away kit of 1998. Now, yeah. I knew you'd pick the home kit. Yes. But I want it to be different. Yeah. Now, let me know what you think about this. Newcastle Brown our sponsor, which you take from Thog Dad there. The blue, green, and orange, but the green and orange is like on the side and then it's on the collar, and then you've got that shadow design on the blue. I think this is an absolutely incredible shirt. And how someone has not only got away with actually making this in 1998 yeah. for Newcastle, but just coming up with a design like that, it's, it's brilliant. Now, before I announce my first place, yeah. I've got to say that when we're doing these videos, we have to be neutral, yeah? Of course we do. We support certain teams, yeah. but it's always important to be neutral. My first place, drum roll, is... Bolton Wanderers shirt. It is! From 1977 to around 1980. Wow, you've got a but, shirt. But, 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 okay. but look at that. Any, every neutral, yeah. look at the beauty of that shirt. It is nice. The, you've got the long that, sleeves. Yeah, you've got that classic Bolton Wanderers badge. You've got the yeah. umbro. On the you've sides. You've got the umbro design all down the long... Yeah. Sure. That's something that's come into fashion very recently yes. as well. But let's move on to my first place yeah. now. And this had to be right up there. This had to be one of the best kits around. You know, this sort of kit that I put for the first place had to be sold out everywhere. And I can tell you, it has. Let's take you over to Sweden with the AIK kit. Fully black and absolutely gorgeous. Black edition 1891 AIK kit. It's full out black. There's no corporate sponsor. 1891 is the year the club was created. It's got the Nike slash, which Dog Dad loves. The <laughs> AIK badge is in black, but it's shining in black. It is. I suppose it's one of those kits that if you bought it, you'd probably keep it behind glass, wouldn't you? You probably wouldn't Literally, wear it. yeah. Because we it's, saw it's AIK, didn't we? we yeah, we did see it. Against Celtic. This is the end of the video, but the discussion will not end here. <laughs> Let us know in the comments which kits did we forget. Which one should have made it into the R12? And who was more correct with their kits? Who had the nicer kits in their 12? Was it me or was it big old Thog Dad? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the like target today is 5,000. And if we could hit that, that would honestly mean a lot. It was my birthday last week and there's no better present than a good like and subscribe if you're new around here. And I just want to say happy Easter to everyone yeah. who's watching. Have happy a wonderful Easter. time. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you all later. Bye guys.